You think you think a friendship with me just would just go this smoothly? No, there'd be so much conflict. I'd probably want to fuck your mom. I'd probably want to fuck your dad. I'd probably want to fuck your sister if she was over 18. Probably want to fuck your brother if he was over 18. I'd have probably knifed someone already. You don't know what type of shit happens, okay? When you try to become my friend. A lot of shit, okay? Yes! Oh my god! I've been living in, yeah. Uh, I've been sitting in this shit. Tired of giving in, yeah. Uh, I've been killing all day since. Tired of fitting in, yeah. Today with a, a new video, uh, obviously, uh, my my hundred thousand subscriber thing fell down. I was too lazy to pick it back up. Just know I got to a hundred thousand subscribers. Okay, we're here today to read more fanfics. Usually, when we read fanfics on this channel, it's about it's on YouTube. But today, we're gonna dig into Wattpad. If you're thinking, Cam, Cam, what's Wattpad? What? Wattpad is <laughs> a place where um, fanfics are written by lots of people about a lot of different things. It's a very spooky place that I only visit very rarely because if you get if you get the, if you stay for too long, you get lost in there. You know what I mean? It's like an inception when you stay in the dream world too long, you get you get stuck in the dream. So we're gonna read a fanfic about me today. Yes. About me, okay? It's my channel. I know I'm very conceited, okay? Someone sent this to me and I didn't even know. I, I didn't even know there was fanfics written about me on Wattpad. If you type in Cameron Phillip on Wattpad, there's a bunch of them. What are you guys doing in your spare time writing fanfics about me? I had no clue. But today we're gonna read this one. It's seven parts, but I think the parts aren't very long. So we should breeze right through it. It's called That One Vegan Best Friend. I'm very excited to read it. I don't know if it gets sexual or anything. So it says best friend. Best friends aren't supposed to have sexual intercourse, okay? So I expect it to be a very clean, G-rated, maybe PG, who knows, uh, fanfic. So no sexual education with Cam today, unless there is sexual education, in which case there will be sexual education. In which case, if you're a minor, get the fuck out of here! Or at least they'll get a parent to watch with you. But without further ado, let's just hop into this. Let's read this. Let's fucking... Oh god, let's get it! This fanfic is meant to be random and stupid, so if I misspell anything or whatever, it was probably on purpose, and I decided that I'm gonna write this first chapter based off what actually happened to me. The rest is gonna be made up, so like, just read and go vegan, K-bye. Yo! So this is like a real life experience? What did I do? I'm scared. I'm scared. Am I about to be exposed? Was I up in someone's DMs? It was Saturday, February 16th. You were lying in bed watching Cameron Phillip on YouTube when you got a notification from Twitter and SoundCloud saying that Cameron's album, Feelings and Failures, drop! I'm streaming as I type this. Fuck yeah! Stream feelings and failures, bro. I'm trying to get rich from that. No, it's a good album, okay? Go listen. Link's in the description. Go listen! So you quickly went to Spotify, saved it, and listened to the album. You tweeted a lot about his album, and tagged him on all of your tweets, in hopes that he might notice you. He liked most of your tweets, which made you freak out and cry every time. When Reflection came on, my favorite song on the album, good choice, you instantly, inst <laughs> instantly, you instantly, <laughs> instantly, <laughs> instantly, Hi, name's In. Instantly. <laughs> Fell in love with it, so you tweeted, Cameron Phillip, can you like DM me the lyrics to Reflection? Oh, I remember this. Cause I'm like hella down to learn it and then randomly sing it. Lamau. I tweeted something like that, Lamau. You took a screenshot and put it on your WhatsApp status. Leave me alone. With the caption, I swear to God, if he actually DMs me, I'll die. I swear to fucking God, if he actually DMs me, huh? 10 seconds later, you got a DM from Cameron. What type of your name type shit? To message me. Two, well, fuck, I can't read. Two messages, envy me, hoes. And before you opened it, you cried for a good two minutes and then opened it and cried even more. You replied to him, but he didn't ever look at it. So you just kept listening to the album. Once it was 2.30 AM, you decided to go to sleep the next day. Did I? I'm sorry for not replying. I try to reply to as many DMs as possible. It's become almost impossible. I'm not, this sounds like a fucking flex. I don't mean to flex. Oh, all these girls message me, nah, nah. But it's true. All these girls do message me. <laughs> and it's hard to answer everyone, I'm sorry. The next day, you woke up to a text from your best friend asking you for the lyrics that Cam had sent you. You replied to her saying, I feel like I should ask Cam. But you thought about it and figured that if you were to ask, he'd never reply. And your friend would never get the lyrics, so you sent them to her anyways. Throughout that day, all you did was lay on your bed and listen to Reflection on repeat, trying to learn the lyrics. I learned them that day. I feel like a badass with a capital B. So you tweeted about it once you learned them and Cam liked it. And of course, I can't read. You being the fangirl that you are, you freaked out again. You kept tweeting Cam, basically spamming his Twitter, but he didn't like any of your tweets. I'm sorry! You didn't really care a lot since he had liked some of your tweets the day before. Hours passed and you had all, all, uh, eh. Hours passed and all you had done was listen to Reflection. There's other songs on the album! 
Okay? You went to the post office to send a giveaway prize to the Philippines and went home only to lay on your bed again and listen to Reflection. I literally have no social life. <laughs> More hours passed and you went to sleep. I know it's short, but that's all that happened in the first 24 hours of the album being out, so yeah. Next chapter is made up, so I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to stream Felix and Paris, go vegan! Okay, bye. Nothing but respect. Telling, telling, telling everyone to stream my album, telling everyone to go vegan. Nothing but respect for this girl. On to part two, and she used my black hair fucking picture. Remember when I had black hair? A lot of you weren't here yet, okay? So, fuck you. After about a day or two of Cameron's album being released, all you had listened to was his songs on repeat. Soon enough, you could sing Reflection without looking at the lyrics, and you had learned most of the lyrics. <laughs> most of the lyrics from Fade Away. Up to this point, that wasn't made up. The next thing I made up, so though, so yee, yee, yee. <laughs> on your way to school, I'm 15, but let's pretend that in the story, I'm already in university. Lo man. I was 15 once. A good age. Lost my virginity at 15, baby! <laughs> I sounded like Mario there. <laughs> so if you're in university, it's not weird if I'm DMing you in this story, right? You're not 15 in this story, I'm not DMing. Okay, let's get that out of the way. DM for Cameron, you freaked out. When you opened it, it read, Hey, I can see all the love you're giving my album, and I really appreciate it, so thank you. Of course you freaked out after you read it, so you replied, Yeah, no problem. You're welcome. I really love the album, it's amazing. Actually, I should just do a voice. I should do a voice. Or yeah, no problem. You're welcome. I really love the album. It's amazing. You hit send and locked your phone to keep up. Uh, you hit send and locked your phone to keep walking since you didn't even think he'd ever reply. A few minutes later, though, you got a DM from him and it said, Do you maybe want to hang out sometime? Oh? You stopped walking for a second to check if you read that right, and you did. So you freaked out. Yeah, sure. I'm kind of busy this week, so why not on Friday? Wow, flex on me. You're busy. You slightly screamed out of excitement. Woo! Friday it is. I'll text you before I pick you up. Oh, that was me who said that. <laughs> That's my voice, okay? Okay, Cam. See you on Friday. You locked your phone once again and continued walking to school. You woke up at 10. Leave me alone. I don't like waking up earlier than 10. And started getting ready to go out with Cam. You spent about two hours trying to figure out what you wa wanted to wear. Once you found your outfit, you got in the shower and then did your makeup and got dressed. You weren't really hungry, so you had just had to buck about it. You weren't really hungry, so you had just had some water and waited for Cam. About 15 minutes passed and you got a message from Cam saying that he was outside. So you could we must live near each other, or did I travel like across the world just for this date? He was outside, so you quickly grabbed your keys, put them in your bag, and went outside. When you got downstairs, you saw Cam's 6'3 ass. It's true, this bitch is 6'3. Standing outside his car, looking at you. I had to include how fucking tall he is, okay? I'm 5'3. Leave me alone! Hey, you look nice. Unless you're not 18 yet! <laughs> Nothing but respect for fanfic cam. Nothing but respect for fanfic cam. That boy always asks. If not, you look like shit, but not really. But are you 18 or not? I've literally said that in a video. This person did their fucking homework. Anybody under 18 looks like shit. I'm sorry, you're ugly. But if you're 18, <laughs> I'm 21 and thanks. You look cute. Cute? I'm not cute. Whatever, where are we going, Cam? Lunch, since it's like 2 p.m. Okay, then let's go. 20 minutes later. You and Cam drove for about 10 minutes, and it took you 10 more minutes to eat since the line was kinda long. After you ate, you walked around for a while and talked about random shit, cause who doesn't like to talk about random shit with a YouTuber? You just met little Mel. About after 30 minutes, you saw a vegan ice cream place, so you went and bought some for yourself and some for Cam too. All you and Cam really did was walk around, talk a little, you know we get to know each other, and you were starting to become friends. Cam, if you're reading this, please be my friend. Okay, let's be friends. I'm sorry, Cam. I have to go. I have a doctor's appointment really early in the morning. I, I'm not doing the voice, goddammit. I'm sorry, Cam. I have to go. I have a doctor's appointment really early in the morning tomorrow. Today was fun, though, so thanks. Can I just realize the voice kind of sounds like a, a kid? So we're just going to stop with that? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why don't I take you home since I brought you here? So you don't have to pay for a cab or anything. A cab, Cam? What is it, 2006? Fucking Uber, dude. Oh yeah, thanks. 10 minutes later, when Cam dropped you off at your apartment, you quickly went inside and went to sleep. That's such a cute picture. Thanks for using that picture. Part three of seven. We're getting into the the meat. Or, uh, <gasps> hey, I need to think of a different say. I can't say it. We're getting right into the tofu of things. I'm going to try to update this story as much as possible, but I thought y'all should know that Cam DM'd me on Instagram yesterday, so like, envy me, Lamel, but anyway, she's like, wow, good job, Cam. You did great. You were laying on the couch watching a movie on Netflix and eating some pizza when Cameron texted you. Are you busy right now? Not really. I'm watching Netflix. Can I come over? Wow, Cam, chill, dude. Fucking drink a, drink a water bottle instead, dude. Yeah, sure, the door is unlocked. Lock your doors. Someone could come kill you. Okay, I'll be there in 20 minutes. You put your phone on the coffee table and went to get something to drink. While you drank your water, you heard a knock on the door. Come in! You yelled from the kitchen and Cam walked in with some cool vegan ice cream. Or some vegan ice cream. Not even cool. Hey, Cam. Hi. Uh, what should the name be? 
I don't know what what name should we pick. I don't have a what name. Let's do Barb. Hey Barb. Real old school. This one's this is for the mothers out there. Do I have any mother viewers that are named Barb? This one's for you. Hey Barb. I brought ice cream. Cool. There's pizza on the coffee table over there. If you want some pizza on the coffee table. Uh, it's not called a. It's not called a. It's not called a pizza table. <laughs> You got a little scared when the cat walked by you. Hi, Yungles. Wow, wow, what a cute cat name. I'm sure no one's ever done that. You said as you bent down to pet the cat, best cat name ever, leave me alone. Sorry for roasting you a second before. You grabbed Yungles and sat back down to continue your, mo your movie with Cam. And Cam, oh sorry, I can't read. And Cam sat down next to you. After the movie was done, you went to the kitchen to eat some of the ice cream Cameron had brought over. Why didn't we eat it during the movie? Two hours later, it was probably 9.30 and you're getting kind of tired. Hey, Barb, do you think you could Oh, do you think I could maybe stay over tonight? Where are your parents? I guess if you're 21, some people live alone at 21. I certainly did. Yeah, sure, Cam. I'm going to also, I don't, no one calls me Cam, all right? I'm Cameron. No one says Cam. Just a little tidbit for anybody out there. No one calls me Cam. Okay, I'll be here with Yungles eating some ice cream after your shower. You sat back on the couch with Cam and talked for a little bit and then went to your room and Cam stayed in the other room your apartment had. Good! I don't want to sleep with you on the first night. I am no slut. Second night, you put your phone on your bedside table and went to sleep. Part four, look at that beautiful mullet. I miss the mullet so much. I'm getting a haircut this Friday, so. When you woke up, you heard something in the kitchen and went to see what it was. You saw Cam making breakfast and you had completely forgotten that he'd stayed over. Oh, hi, Barb. Sorry if I eat you up. I'm making gingerbread waffles. Vegan waffles, I hope. It's fine, you didn't wake me up and thanks. After you said that, you went to the bathroom and did your morning routine. Once you were done, you went back to the kitchen and Cam had already put your plate on the table. You ate your food and decided you wanted to go to the mall. Who just... Who just decides to go to the mall? What is, what is, what, what, what is, what, what is 2006? Cam, okay, going to the mall, you wanna come? Yeah, sure. I would never, I would never go to the mall with you. I'm sorry, this goes for anybody. I'm not going to the mall. What is it, 2006? You went to your room and got dressed. You weren't dressed before? Ew! Oh! After you were done, you went to the living room to find Cam playing with Yungles. Cam, we gotta go. Oh yeah, let's go. You laughed and grabbed the keys, keys, to your apartment as you walked out the door to get to Cam's car. Five minutes later, you arrived at the mall and went straight to Starbucks to get a pink drink. What's a pink drink? I'm sorry, I don't know much about Starbucks. After you got your pink drink, you went to Forever 21 to buy some clothes. You bought your clothes and decided to go check out the BT21 stuff. They had a hot topic. Leave me alone, I love BT21. Well, n everyone loves BT21. No one's gonna need to leave you alone. It's not like, leave me alone, okay? I love my mustard on toast. Actually, you found a Tata plushie. Look at that shit. So you bought it. Stan Tata. I agree. And you also bought Chimmy and Koya plushies after Hot Topic. You went to get some vegan ice cream. How much ice cream are we having? We're going to be huge. And found Cam standing in line. So he yelled his name for him to look at you. Once you got his attention, you went inside and stood in line. You pulled out your phone to text Cam. I stand texting Cam. Stan? Can you stand? I stand texting Cam? You can stand that? Next time I'm texting, like, my mom. Like, mom, I fucking stand texting you. Like, I fucking stand it. She'll be like, what? I'll be like, I stand you. And she'll be like, That's, this is why I don't love you. Shut up. Have you ever been in this one store? This one, uh... Have you ever been in this one store this entire time? Have you been in this one store? Have you been in just this one store the, the um... Have you been in just this one store this entire time? Lamau, yeah. I've been working though. I don't. Lamau, yeah. I've been working though. Don't think I've only been eating ice cream. Working? What? What do you mean working? Am I vlogging? Lamau, okay then. You ordered your ice cream and sat down at the table where Cam was. As you were eating your ice cream, you got a text from your mom saying she was coming over. Shit, Cam! I gotta go. My mom's coming over. Do you want me to go with you? I mean. If you want. Okay, then let's go. I'm meeting the parents! At your apartment. As soon as you got to your apartment, you apartment, you saw your mom and quickly ran to hug her. Aww. When she noticed Cam, she instantly asked who he was. Who's this handsome young man? Oh, fuck! I'm gonna fuck your mom! I should shut the windows. This is Cameron. He's just a friend. <laughs> okay, Barb. And my toothbrush is just a toothbrush. <laughs> just a friend, huh? He's cute. You looked back at Cam and saw him smiling. <laughs> I pro I'd be loving this. I'd be like, your mom wants to fuck me. Haha. <laughs> you went inside your apartment and your mom kept asking all kinds of questions about you and Cam. You would tell her he's just a friend, but she would just keep asking questions. After a while, your mom went home and you and Cam had dinner, then watched a movie and fell asleep with Yungles. Between the two of you, ah. Part five, still rocking with the mullet. Only three Three parts left. I'm loving this. This is great. Cute content, right? No sex, but that's okay. You don't need to have sex in a story to make it interesting. 
All right. I hope I fucked the mom though. I'm really rooting for that. You woke up with the Ungles laying on your lap, sleeping on your lap, actually. You heard the water running in the kitchen and saw Cam washing dishes from last night. That's false. I never wash dishes. Wouldn't happen. You grabbed Ungles and put him on the couch next to you and went to the kitchen to get some water. Morning. How'd you sleep? Good. You? I felt Ungles on me most of the time, but slept okay. You grabbed a bowl and got some cereal with almond milk because this is a vegan household. You saw Ungles jump on the kitchen table, so you grabbed him and took him back on the couch with you and Cam while you ate your cereal. Cam decided to put on a movie. We, do we just eat ice cream and watch movies? This is, this is what we do? Honestly, you have my life pretty pegged. While you ate your cereal, you noticed him getting very comfortable in your apartment, seeing as he'd been there for almost five days? What the fuck is wrong with you? Kick me out! Imagine someone just stayed in your apartment for five days unannounced? Kick me out! Hey Cam, you might as well just move in. You pretty much live here already. He looked at you and laughed. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I just like being here with you and Yungles. It's nice. I would never be away from pinball for that long. Pinball would have to be there with us. Also, am I making videos? Am I making music? Did I put my career to a, a complete stop just to hang out with you and this cat? Once again, probably sounds like me. It's nice. It's fine. I like having you here. If you're gonna stay longer, you should at least get some clothes from your place. Let's go to my place and get some clothes then. Okay then, let's go. This is so cute. At Cam's apartment. When Cam opened the door to his apartment, you saw a cat lying on the top of the fridge. One on the couch, one on the table, and one walking towards Cam. Absolutely. You've pegged what they do. Winston on the fridge, Leo on the table, Marceline on the couch, Pinball walking towards me. Hey Pinball, did you miss me? Cam said as he picked up Pinball, closing the door behind Behind him. You can sit down, or you can sit down if you want. I'm just gonna grab some clothes and we can leave. Okay, you said as you sat down on the couch. You saw Pinball walking towards you and laying down next to the cat that was asleep next to you. That cat is Winston, because I can do that. Winston would be on the fridge. Do you even know me? You quickly grabbed your phone to take a picture, and Cam walked into the room as soon as you took the picture. They're literally so cute, Cam. Why is the one on top of the fridge, though? Oh, yeah, Marceline does it all the time. She's weird. No! Winston's the one on the fridge! Are you even a fan? You lose. Loser. Cam, I'm joking. The fact that you got all the cats right, it's very impressive, but just for future warning, Winston's the one always on the fridge. Okay then, you ready to go? Yup, let's go. As he said that, both of you left his apartment and headed back to yours. On your way back, you started craving ice cream, so you stopped at a vegan ice cream shop. What is wrong with us? What is wrong with us? Fucking ice cream addicts. We, we have to be like, I've gained like 10 pounds already. Part six, look at Cam with a fresh cut. Looking like that dude from Surf's Up. It's been about a week since Cam decided he wanted to stay at your place. I literally don't know what I'm doing in this fanfic anymore. Please help me. I promise I'll go back home someday. So be patient. Okay. You'd gotten used to him being there. I need some conflict here, you know? This has all just been smooth rolling. I'm just chilling in this apartment. Someone needs to get shot or something. You'd gotten used to him being with you all the time, so it felt weird when he was out for a long time. Oh, you miss me. You felt as if you had had to be with him all the time or you'd get lonely without, without him. Okay, there's some conflict. You've become attached. You were sitting on the couch with you and goes thinking about when Cam might get home. So you decided you'd call him instead of just waiting for him. Hey Cam, when do you think you might get home? I was just getting in my car to go back. Why? No, no reason, just curious. Do you miss me? No, I'm just bored, so hurry up and come home. Yeah. Fucking okay, just bored. I think I might stay out a little longer, actually. I just got hungry. I'm fucking someone! Am I fucking someone? I better be fucking someone. Cam, get it in! Come on, virtual Cam, get your dicks up! Sorry, as I said, you don't need sex to make a story interesting. I could cook, idiot. Oh, what the fuck? Just call me an idiot? I'm gonna come home, I'm gonna choke slam you, and I'll probably kill you. I hope I come home and kill you. There's lots of food here, so come home. Okay, fine, okay. You hung up and went to the kitchen and started cooking. We stand cooking. Do you fucking stand everything? What is wrong with you? When you were just about done cooking, Cam opened the front door and threw himself on the couch next to you and goes, Get up, you have to eat. I'm so tired, just bring me the food. Bitch, this isn't a restaurant. Get up and come get your food, bitch. Bring me my food. If you're not gonna come get it, then starve. After you said that, you went to your room to watch a movie. After the movie. You went to the kitchen to get something to drink and saw Cam asleep on the couch and his food's still on the table. Did he really just go to sleep? Unbelievable. You got your water and put it on top of the table, then put the food away. You walked up to Cam and threw a blanket on him and went back to your room and fell asleep. Aww. This is part seven. This is the final part. Oh my God, there's a fly in here. It's gone. Part seven, the final part, or maybe this is just a part. It's not the final part, but this is as much as she's written. I need some conflict in this part. It's been so smooth and wonderful. You think you think a friendship with me just would just go this smoothly? No, there'd be so much conflict. I'd probably want to fuck your mom. I'd probably want to fuck your dad. I'd probably want to fuck your sister if she was over 18. Probably want to fuck your brother if he was over 18. I'd have probably knifed someone already. You don't know what type of shit happens, okay? When you try to become my friend. A lot of shit, okay? I might end up writing like two or three chapters because I keep forgetting that this exists. So yeah, that's a thing. So enjoy the last few chapters. All right, so this might not be the last 
last one, but it's the last one for today. You woke up feeling slightly dizzy. You went to the kitchen to make breakfast and noticed Cam wasn't on the couch anymore. You checked, and my dad, please let me be dead. I just want some conflict, dude. Checked in the other room and he wasn't there either. He probably went out again. He'll be back, you said, and continued to make your breakfast. After you were done eating, you took a shower and then got dressed and went to get your nails done. We st- Stop saying Stan. I'm gonna die, dude. If you say Stan one more time, I'm gonna jump out my window. I will. After that, you went to the mall. The mall again? What's wrong with you? And bought an NCT album, a BTS album, I wish my mom had all this shit, a Stray Kids album, a Dreamcatcher album, and, and a Monster X album, and then went back home. When you got into your apartment, you saw that none of Cam's things were in the room! So you called to ask where he was, but he didn't answer. I left! I left you to be alone forever! I'm fucking your mom. I killed your dad. You sat on the couch, ordered some food, and put on a movie while you waited for Cam to hopefully call you back. Was I kidnapped? Three hours later. It's been hours! Where is he? You decided to call him again, and this time he answered. Cam, where are you? I've been looking for you for hours. Where did you go? Okay, calm down. I'm at my apartment. Why were you looking for me? Is something wrong? Yeah, what's wrong is that you left without saying anything. I took all you stuff. This fly needs to fuck off. Mar Marceline, the fly's in here. Marceline, come get the fly. My cats are trying to chase this fly. I don't want it killed, okay? I'm a vegan, I love all things, including flies. I just want him to leave me alone. I was worried that you wouldn't answer my calls either. Well, I decided to take my stuff back to my place since I've been staying with you for a month for literally no reason. Yeah, no reason. Cam, you weren't trying to get it in. Doesn't sound like me, okay? I didn't tell you anything because you were asleep and I didn't want to bother you because my phone's battery died and so I was charging it. Well, you could have at least left a note or something. Do you want me to come over so you know I'm alive and I'm fine? I don't care if you do or not. I just wanted to know where you were. Okay, then I'll be there in 20 minutes. Fine! You hung up and threw your phone next to you and continued watching your movie. You were about to fall asleep when you heard a knock at the door. You got up and opened the door and saw Cam and hugged him. I literally want to hug Cam so bad. Hands fucking off until you're 18. Hands off! But in the story, Barb is 21, so it's okay. I hate you. Okay. Cam hugged you back and started walking inside without letting you go and you almost fell. He let you go and you sat back down. All we do in this fanfic is sit on the couch, eat, sleep, and watch Netflix. What more could you want? Some conflict? He sat down next to you and watched the movie with you. A few minutes later, a few minutes later, you Ingles went and sat on Cam's lap and you fell asleep with your head on Cam's shoulder. I'm ending this here because I'm in class right now. Lamau, I stand. Say it one more time. I'll kill you. I'm gonna say it. This is a threat. I'll kill you. I'll update this next month. Lum out! I promise I'm not to do this. I'm gonna go vegan. Bye. When was this updated? May 9th. It's June 17th. You don't have too much time left in June to update it, okay? If you're watching this, please insert some conflict. Can I, can I kill you? Can I stab you? Something. Can you stab me? No, I don't mean stab like that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that fanfic. There was not too much conflict in the fanfic, but uh, if you find any more cool Wattpad or YouTube fanfics about me, feel free to send them to me. I'd love to read them, you know, read about them. It's very cute and funny when people write fanfics about me because it's me, you know? Why are it's me? It's Cam. Cameron, actually. So it's just weird. Anyway, I love you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a wonderful day. Go vegan. Grab the merch down below. We got merch out now, baby. Grab the merch go vegan love one another be kind to one another i love you have a beautiful day i've been living in yeah oh i've been sitting in this shit tired of giving it yeah oh i've been killing all day since tired of